Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neon Revolution. We are back here again with another episode. Today we have two brand new collection boxes. We have the Rillaboom B and the Cinderus V boxes. I picked both of these up uh, only because they have the evolutions uh, packs in there as well as it looks like maybe a cosmic eclipse in the background so let's just go ahead and start with the Rillaboom V box see what's inside now I've never opened either one of these boxes before so I am kind of excited to see what we have inside and what that fourth pack that kind of slid away from everything else is All right. so the first box slide that open Toss it off to the side. Okay. So open that up. All right. So the jumbo card right there. Beautiful looking card. Okay. So we got two sword and shields, and then yep, the evolutions and cosmic eclipse. Love that artwork right there in that pack. Just set those off to the side. Same as the jumbo card, but there is the promo card. I'm gonna keep that in the plastic for now. Go ahead and put that back in. Toss that off to the side. Go ahead and get into the Cinderus V. Now I've heard this name pronounced a couple of different ways. Cinderus, uh, Cinder Ace, um, Cinda Race. Um, so, you let me know in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing it correctly or completely wrong. Alright, so. Jumbo card for you right there. Put that in there. And yep, two sword and shields, cosmic eclipse, and an evolution. Alright. So, a decent pack selection. Now, let's move to the close up. Okay, and we are here with the close-up. I figure we will start with all the sword and shields, saving the better packs for last. Definitely leaving the XY evolutions to the very end. All right, good feeling about this opening pack. What will we get? Will it be a secret rare? Will it be ultra rare? All right, let's go ahead and find out. Alright, there's your energy, Aurora energy, Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, and your Reverse Hollow right there. And for the last card in the back, okay, so a card I have not seen before, and holographic as well, so I call that a good pull. Set that off to the side. Now, Sword and Shield, out of all the sets, has uh, not been the kindest to me, to say the least. Um, so we will see if we can't change that today. I've actually had better luck with uh, Steam Siege, if you can believe it. All right, so Rhyhorn, Energy, Switch, Ferrothorn again, Reboot, Goldeen is your reverse hollow some beautiful looking artwork on it and for the last card a lapras v full art absolutely beautiful looking card let's go ahead and grab a sleeve toss that inside and take a look at it okay i don't see any whitening the Centering honestly doesn't look too bad. We might have a good contender here for a PSA 10. Okay. We'll set that off to the side as well. We got two more packs of sword and shield to go. And let's see what else we can get. Alright. So far, so good. We got a full art and a holographic rare. So, all right, Rosalia, all right, 
what else we got? Another Goldeen, different artwork. There's your energy pseudo wudo. All right, energy switch. Another reverse hollow Goldeen. Does it mean that there is another full art behind here? It does. Okay, Stone Jervy. All right, looking like uh, Stonehenge there. All right, another full art card. This one, however, does have, uh, yeah, maybe it's because of the back, it makes it stand out more, but uh, a little bit of the whitening at the front there. A little bit on this corner right here. But still a good card. Okay. What else we got from Sword and Shield? Now, as much as I do like getting the good pulls overall, I would like them all to be out of the later packs. Um, Cosmic Eclipse has some amazing cards in it. Evolutions. We are still after uh, all the Charizards from that pack. We pulled a couple, but we are missing the OG looking one. All right, so we got that Hitmonchan. We got Hitmonlee in the back. All right, so there is your Reverse Hollow right there. And for the rare, a Noctowl non-holographic, but that is okay. Alright, so that is four packs of Sword and Shield. And now we are moving into Cosmic Eclipse. Alright, both of these packs uh, have good pulls. We will have uh, definitely made our money back from what we got these for. All right, so, Deerling, Golex, Energy, Tag Team, Mallow, and Lana. All right, what else we got? Okay, there is your Reverse Hollow, Phantom. All right, and for the rare, okay, we got uh, the dragon from uh, Never Ending Story. Awesome. All right, so one more pack of Cosmic Eclipse. Will we get a tag team card for the uh, rare? Will we get a secret rare, ultra rare? All right, so we got Magnemite in a forest, Lillipup, Treffinch, Sneasel, Spiel, Energy, Tag Team Guzman and Hala. Iggly Buff, a good looking card right there. All right, Will. Oh, there we go. A full art secret rare. And I am absolutely stunned that we pulled one. Look at how good that looks. Oh my God. All right, let's let's uh, see what the last card is. And a Steelix holographic. Okay, so we will set the Steelix off to the side. Get a card sleeve. Gently put that in. All right. And honestly, looking at like the centering and everything like that on the front, it looks perfect. On the back. Centering does look just a little off from uh, left to right. Other than that, a perfect looking card. Look at that artwork. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we got two packs of evolutions. Will we get the Charizard out of the Charizard pack? Well, not the Charizard. All right, so the first one, let's go ahead and jump right into it. See what we can get. All right, so secret rares in here. Let's see if we can't get one. All right, so Tangula, Vulpix, Energy, Pokedex, Kakuna, Potion, a Haunter, as the reverse hollow, a good pull right there. And for the rare, a Doug Trio. So no Charizard yet, 
but one more pack to go. Is this going to be the lucky pack? Out of all of the XY packs that we have opened, is this going to be the one? All right, starting off with a magic carp. Weedle, Electabuzz, Drowsy, Dugon as the rare. Interesting. Um, maybe I did the card trick wrong, apparently. Let's see what we got for the reverse hollow. And a sand true. That is a good pull right there. I know there's only a couple of them in existence, so a good pull. So it does look like I did the card trick wrong. Dugong, don't get me wrong, is a good pull. I think if you get it at a PSA 10, it, it's, it's worth a pretty penny. You'll definitely make some money on it, more than the, uh, the pack is worth. So, you know what, not a bad end to the day, but this card right here is the winner of the day. Okay, look at how perfect that is. Just that little tiny whitening. Little tiny mark right on the right on the corner there. You can just see it. Alright. Other than that though, great looking card. So I do want to thank everybody for tuning in today to watch another episode of The Neon Revolution. If you guys do like the content that I have been putting out, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, have an amazing day.